I wanted to give an update as we have reached another milestone for victims and campaigners of infected blood. From today, estates of those infected who have sadly passed away will be entitled to payment of £100,000. Personal representatives like brothers, sisters, parents and children can now apply to receive this payment. This is yet another group who have waited far too long for recognition and justice. When I came into government, I committed to delivering compensation to victims of infected blood as swiftly as possible. And I've always been clear that any compensation scheme needs to recognise those both infected and affected by this appalling injustice. Since taking office, we have established a comprehensive compensation scheme in law, which is set to be one of the largest schemes in modern history. Today's announcement about compensation is the right thing to do. It was advised by the Infected Blood Inquiry and set out in the Victims and Prisoners Act. Of course, no amount of compensation can fully address the suffering as a result of this scandal. But I hope that this further step on the road to justice reaffirms how committed this government is to delivering redress and relief to those who've waited far too long.